Welcome to Daza on Crater City, and once again you find me mining outside the city. Well, it's a good place to mine, isn't it? Uh, only this time... Creepy noise. I found something else interesting. If we go here, you can kind of see what it is. Some sort of structure up there. I am having some frame rate issues. I don't know if it's because of these big caves or something running in the background, but we'll do what we can. So let's have a look and see what this thing is. Sounds like, oh, it's a torch. Well, if it is a stronghold, it's one that's already been discovered. I mean, it's, you know, I know that two of the strongholds on this server have been discovered already, so it wouldn't be a big surprise if that's the case. But it would have been nice if I'd found the third one. Again, I'm sorry about the, the lag issues. I can't really help it until I work out exactly what's causing it. So there's a spider somewhere. Maybe that was maybe that was down there. Oh, it was up there. Okay. Never mind. Spider seems to have sorted itself out. Let's have a look around this stronghold. It looks fairly complete. Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, the further you go in, the emptier it gets. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Now this is interesting because this one, because the oh, library. Now, 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 now. Lots of, lots of bookcases. I might have some of those bookcases actually because I could use those for the intelligence agency. Oh well. So yeah, I'm just wandering along to the intelligence agency and I can hear some chickens. Well, I've already looked inside, so I know what's waiting for me in there, but uh, I did notice that Ethan appears to have changed his signs. Well, we aim to please, so yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he's delighted with that. Oh, by the way, we are smart. That was, uh, that was the winner of a little competition I ran on the server for people to come up with the slogan for the intelligence agency and that is the best they could come up with seriously because you know i did ask people what the name of the alleyway should be the one behind my house and the winning suggestion the alleyway so well, let's see where chickens are on here are they all oh well that's good okay it's just a few in the end <laughs> there were just a few in the end in the entrance. Let's sort this out. Look away now if you like chickens. I have to say, I mean, the chicken population in my house is getting completely out of control. Ugh. I forgot to remove this snow before. This isn't another snow golem. But yeah, I can't really bring myself, unless the camera's on, <laughs> for some reason. Unless the camera's on, I can't bring myself to kill the chickens. So, yeah, there aren't any more chickens, so we'll just get rid of this trapped one. I might have to remove... that's annoying. That is seriously annoying. There we go. Uh, stone slab. Yeah. I doubt this is a prank, but I've noticed around Guitar Flat's place there's an awful lot of cakes. Well, some partially eaten cakes. And also, we did make a statue of him while he was away, but it's been reduced in size somewhat. And also, dare I say, it's been made slightly more family friendly. But he hasn't emptied this out yet. He said in one of his previous videos that... He really hates it when people leave individual items in his mailbox. So, a few of us decided to put as many individual items as possible in his mailbox. So he's got to sort them all out one by one. Either that or he won't receive any more mail. It's entirely up to him. I don't know why I'm going into Miguel's place. Right, let's have a look at these chickens. It's a chicken swimming pool. You can tell by the lag that there's got quite a few there. Do you think I should start thinning out the numbers, or is there room for a few more? Let's have a look at the eggs. See, look at that! That's just while I've been away. 
In fact, I've got more eggs than I can fit in my inventory. Let's go and uh, make some space. Uh, yeah, we'll go and have a look at that obsidian thing that I was talking about before. Vexy said it was kind of a, an aborted portal or, or something or other. Do you know, I bet this is a birthday thing. I don't know when Guitar Flat's birthday is, but I bet that's what it is. As we're coming up to the walls... By the way, I mean, is that natural or what? I guess that... Uh, I, I don't know. I guess it must connect up to that wooden house. Whose is that now? I think that's Fraser Razor's place. It's a wooden cube. Maybe visit that another time. There's uh, the domed house that I now know belongs to Zombie Cleo. Right, you can see the obsidian thing there. And now we're here, there's a couple of things that I also remember. There's another house that I want to show you, and I'm wondering which to do first. Let's have a look at that obsidian thing. It's strange. Noise right on cue. Now, I did ask Vexy, but she said it's some kind of attempt at a portal, but don't ask, which makes me want to ask even more. I mean, how can you get a portal wrong? I guess the, these must have been produced by creating portals in the nether, and this is where they popped out, although I've never seen them appear on the top of a tree like this. Strange. There's that big archway. I wonder if you can get through underneath that. Yet another victory of terrain generation there. Floating lump of rock and earth. The only time I think those kinds of things sort of do save themselves and become sort of fantastic and wonderful is when you get a spring or a lava spring coming off them when they've got a source block in them. That just looks so bizarre that they kind of fall off the other edge of looking silly into looking brilliant. I guess now I'm close to this, it's a portcullis. This must at some point have been, I suppose, the big entrance into the city. Kind of strange now that none of us live actually inside the city walls, but... Here we are again, back by the old farm. Must have taken ages to place all those fences. By the way, current thinking on the economy is that we won't lose the economy, but rather, and this is something that I, I like the idea of, everything will be a, um, will be sellable, sellable for a dollar, but you'll only be able to buy smooth stone and sand. Now that's the that's really useful for building, because smooth stone, well. I mean, there's plenty of it, but of course when you mine it, it becomes cobblestone, and smelting it just takes forever. I mean, you have to have furnaces on the go all the time if you want to build anything substantial out of smooth stone. So being able to buy it, and also the same goes for stone bricks. And um, as for sand, well, we saw what happened to the ruined desert, and of course the person that did more mining on that desert than anybody else is Vex, who... Uh, now, of course, is more famous of, of uh, uh, adventure map fame, but once upon a time he had a house on this server too. At least I think he had a house. But I wonder where that would have been. I mean, could this have been it? Anyway, this this house belonged to somebody else who used to be on the server who's now big and famous. This house belonged to Paul's on Paul's. Row, 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 you know. Again. Chest's not entirely empty, CQ. You've got things to do here. Oh. Now, do you know, when I came in here before, I didn't notice this. An intersection. Okay, this is the yellow line of the subway. I did actually see this at some other point, but I, I didn't go down here. House on house, or horse on horse. Again, you know, pools on pools, you know house is still here. It's still here. You never know. He had a good view of that weird obsidian thing, didn't he? 
Now, I wonder what happened to the roof here. Was this always open, or did somebody take the roof away? I don't know if maybe you made the roof out of gold or something like that. Or diamond blocks. I mean, it is pools and pools, isn't it? Now, whose house is this? Now, it can't be Vex or Phaleron, because I'm pretty sure I know where those, their houses are in the old city. Vex's house. Okay, I, you know, but I, I speculated on that. This is right. This this was where Vex was. So I guess it's going to be full of spawners and gravel traps and all sorts of things. Got to be careful I walk here. No. Nope. No hidden skeletons or creepers in there. Oh, this is more like it. Probably reach an intersection in a minute. Now this is interesting. I have been here before. And you know, this is look at the scale of this. This is Vex Vex's work. And you've got to say, in some kind of way, it conjures up images of Vex's work, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean look at it. I guess this must have been just absolute total mining. And I know there's a couple of buy signs up the top for TNT and so on. I know Davion Mining Industries. Somebody mentioned something to me about that before. That there that used to be a presence on the server. Anything still left in these furnaces? Probably you can hear that spider because there are caves all around here. This is how I first ended up in this room because I accidentally tunneled in from a cave. Anything left in here? No, it's all long gone. Don't know if there's anything like diamonds, that would be good, wouldn't it? NPC loot. Nope. Well, there you go. You can find all sorts of weird and wonderful things on here if you just look. And this whole area of the city is no longer used. It's amazing because this server really hasn't been around for that long. When you think about it. I mean, it's a matter of months, really. And already so much has happened on here. That's, of course, the same subway line we saw earlier. I can see something in there. Is it just uh, an effect of me moving around? I think it must be. It's probably just a wood block or something. Or is it a boat? Is there actually a boat in there? There is! Do you know, when I... <laughs> How could I have missed that earlier? <laughs> I was probably the only person that didn't see that. And again, of course, you can see Guitar Flat's house across there, so... There we are! A trip to the past. Where I'm pointing. I know where we'll go. That nether-shaped portal. Let's go and have a look at that, because I've, so far, not shown you anything about it. So, off we go. There we are. To the jungle. We haven't been to the jungle before. Haven't been to the igloo. I've never been there, actually. I have been to the jungle. That's where Vexy's pyramid is. Um, now, the nether is, of course, laggy, as it always is. Sin City this way. Have I got a minecart handy? Let's go to Sin City. So yeah, here we are at Sin City, where all the games happen. That's where I arrived. That's the portal into the nether. That's the train station. That's the PvP arena. That's the Pigodrome, where pig racing happens. And just over there, what well, you can see a little bit of it up there, is Ethan's creation, our Spleef Arena. That's the newest addition to Sin City. A lot of unused space here, but I think the original intention was it would be a whole metropolis of fun on its own. We'll have a quick look in there. 
It is, of course, the PvP arena, the site of battle. Full of mobs, of course, as it should be. And... You know, it wouldn't be a Daza video, would it, if a creeper didn't blow up something at some point. So let's just do a quick running repair here. I mean, I, I just haven't got any wood like this. I mean, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do a very approximate job at making this look decent. There we go. Now, I can see a creeper down there that likes the look of me. So I'm not going to even think about going down there. The Pigodrome. Now, as I recall, this doesn't really do very much at the moment. I don't think it was completed. Now, I could be wrong on this, but I don't think it was ever finished. But the idea was racing pigs. More than that, I don't know. I don't know how it was supposed to work. I don't think it's going to get completed somehow. And we have a new structure over here, made by Ethan. No way forever. And uh, he's done some credits too. Spleef Arena, made by Ethan. He did a really good job of this. Couldn't have been completed without Miguel. All the bodyguards, Passion and Guitar Flap. Uh, this was actually all vexy for delivering a whole bunch of food and cobble. You may wonder, what was Daza doing while all this was going on? Oh, somebody's destroyed where the snow golem used to live. That used to um, produce snow uh, for restocking the arena. So, this is Ethan's arena. And he has done a little bit of work on it since I last saw it, actually. So maybe that snow golem's inside now. So that's the leaderboard. They are missing one, actually, because after Uniclad's one on the third, I did have to think about those dates briefly, because, of course, Ethan, being British, he's used the British date format. So, yeah. On the third, I came in just as they were finishing that tournament, and the arena was already complete. So, in fact, I planted these trees up here because uh, we needed more wood. And Uniclad had to go. And so we did, actually did a three-way competition. Guitar Flat against Miguel against me. can't remember who won. It wasn't me because I, I was always the first one to go out. I think I did, one, I did win one match, but that was it. <laughs> All of the others. I'm pretty sure it was me that went in first. Then, I think it was Miguel, because I think Miguel helps me rebuild most of the time, and then Guitar Flat. I could be totally wrong on that. Hmm. This is, of course, where you put your stuff. For some strange reason, the teams are pink and blue. They were supposed to be red and blue, but I seem to remember at the time Ethan said that he didn't have enough red. Yet, yeah, if you know anything about wool, you'll know that to make pink dye, you have to have red dye to start with, and you add bone meal to it. So I'm not quite sure what. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Right, so we'll make our way back to the Nether now, and have a little look around. Ah, so I guess the stairs lead to the way forward. Right, down we go. Ah, walking through soul sand. And of course all the traditional lag of the nether. I know that lag is a real theme on this episode, but you need to be aware that I know about it and I'm trying my best to deal with it. So this little house, what's in here? Is this a portal? Looks like a house. A little bit of exploration showed some nether wart in there. So that was a little farmer's cottage there. Now this large structure you see here is in fact a spiral staircase that takes us from... Oh, I wonder what this is. Oh, it's just a bridge. It takes us from the connection to the nether 
minecart system and Vexy's portal which are up there to this entrance down here. Now these bridges have been made and remade many times. In fact the first time I came down here I was attacked by a uh, ghast which just wiped them all out. Basically as I was walking along all the bridges disappeared and I have to admit to Miguel, you know, because I've never told him that, but he came back and had to repair them all. I don't think he ever realised that it was because I hadn't dealt with that ghast properly that you had all that work. I can hear a ghast out there somewhere. Hmm. I've got a friend whose cat makes that exact noise. The exact ghast noise. It's incredible. And rather disconcerting. Anyway, this portal is the one you come out of if you go into the, the nether portal in Vexy's house. But, if I were to go into that portal, I would end up at Castle Ogeron. If I want to go back to Vexy's place, which is near my house, this is the obviously the minecart system for the nether, I have to use this portal instead. So we'll do that. And here we are. Right, so we are now in Vexy's house. There's that water painting. Another delightful painting here. <laughs> Actually, this is one I really should put up in the intelligence agency somewhere. It never it never cropped up while I was putting paintings up, is it? Um, it's a two by two, so surprised it never came up. But anyway, obviously Vexy enjoys this painting. I'm sure in real life she's got an enormous copy of this somewhere in her house. Because, I mean, you would, wouldn't you? You'd want to see that, particularly, particularly like, at night. You'd want a glowing version of that painting just to look at in the darkness, you know? It would really help you sleep. Particularly if it made noises, like nether portal noises. Or like, or like Record 11. That slime doesn't look very healthy. The slimes drown. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Yes, they do. Well, on that happy note, we'll make our way back up to the part of the house that's infested with chickens. And thanks for watching. This has been Daza on Crater City, Episode 7. And I will see you again Episode 8. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel it would help. Here's a hint. It would help. Thanks very much. See you next time.